Welcome back to another episode on Photoshop basic series in Webtrix Home. Today we'll be designing a magazine cover in Photoshop. But before getting started, please hit the like button. That's what keeps us motivated to come up with more videos in the future. And subscribe us so that you'll never have to miss our videos. Then without wasting time, let's get started. So this is the photo I'm going to use for this tutorial. I've taken it from unsplash.com. You can find the link for the image in the description below where you can find tons of free stock photos. For the magazine cover, I'll take the US letter size as the canvas size here. Ideally, you should go with 300 resolution with CMYK color mode, but we can also convert RGB to CMYK later. Let's drag the image to our document then. And resize it. I'll center align the image here. The background is too dark, so I'll add a gradient adjustment layer here. Let's go with the red and green. Change the blend mode to screen to brighten the image. Play with the opacity to blend it nicely. Now we can go on to add the text here, but before that, it's a good idea to reset the character and paragraph panel so that the text don't look weird because of your previous preferences. Well, that's done. Let's add the magazine title then. Let's go with any typeface for now. We can change everything later though. Let's make it bold. I'll transform it to give it the full width. Let's make it red. Let's change the typeface too. As in CFV is looking great here, but that's quite narrow. Let's resize it to the full width. The text looks too tall, so I'll reduce the vertical scaling a bit. Well, that looks fine now. Let's move it to the top. Now, like every magazine these days, let's fake the title appear behind the image. For that, let's add a layer mask on the type layer and hide the top two layers first. Then go with select menu, color range. We have already launched it in our selection tutorial, right? Let's select the hair. Play with the fuzziness to make a clean selection. The white area will be the selection area. Hit OK. Turn on the hidden layers and select the type layer. Select the brush tool with black color as the foreground color and paint over the selection. Once you get the edges right, you can turn off the selection and paint over the other areas easily. I can see the brush impact behind the image too. So I'll hold the Alt or Option key and click on the layer mask. That'll load the layer mask on the canvas. Then we can remove the gray areas with the white color set as foreground color. For a better result, you can select the blend mode overlay for the brush and paint over. That will prevent the brush from wiping out the darker areas. Turn off the layer mask view mode with the Alt or Option key and a click on the layer mask and you can see the output. From here onwards, it's only about adding ticks, lining them, and playing with the options while trying to make the whole picture aesthetic. So I'll rev up the frame rate so that you don't get bored while watching all this. If you are good with the tools, for sure the speed won't be a trouble. Enjoy.
Well, that's all for today. I hope this video really helps you to learn Photoshop to a greater extent. Hit like if you found this video useful, that's what keeps us motivated to come up with more videos in the future. If you think you have got some ideas that can help me produce more better videos, share it through the comments. Let me know what you feel about the video through the comments as well. Thanks for watching and please subscribe us for more videos. Thank you.